tick tock, check the clock. It's moving faster, relentless in its quest to stop us in our tracks. Tick tock, can you hear it? Faster than my beating heart, thumping with anxiety, checking over my shoulder for the reaper. He's on a bender, hell bent on the hunt to sniff down and snuff out those I love. Tick tock. Time won't stop or take a break or hesitate to cut us off at the knees. Yet here we stand for what we believe can make a difference if we only make it flow. Today we stand for flow, for what we know is essential to the health of this thing we call a healthcare system. We stand for flow, for pushing information out, transforming it from solid state to liquid gold, getting it to go where it needs to go, flowing into the chasm that separates us from the quality we pay for but do not receive, flowing so that the liquid data cascade and echo, creating ripples of insight that concatenate to engulf us in tsunamis of knowledge. And so we implement electronic health records organizing into exchanges to make flow a reality in local circumstances, taking chances with taxpayer dollars that we could never afford on our own accord, trying to fix on a massive scale the brokenness of this system that we, in our confessed complacency, have grown to see as normal. Millions, nameless, faceless, suffering under the burden of a system uninspired to go the extra mile are saying, enough! I have a name. I have a face. I have a voice. I take a stand. Here I stand, just one man among millions, with a family lost in this maze. With a father who died from cancer of his phantom prostate that had been removed 20 years before. No PSAs for 20 years. Why test for something long removed? Maybe because there's a chance that it's not all gone. Maybe the insights are all there hidden among the data to know the answer to the question of whether it would have made a difference. A life or death difference. This one simple test. Here I stand, just one man among millions, with a family lost in this maze, with a mother who is slowly losing her way, keeping the memories of her youth, but misplacing those formed an hour ago. Her children, long away from their hometown, trying to connect the dots of her care by remote control. Help, I've fallen and I can't get up, does not traverse time zones. So we rely on old technology of phone and fax, which isn't up to the task, as she rides from assisted living to hospital to rehab and back again while her medical records struggle to keep up the pace. Here I stand, just one man among millions with a family lost in this maze, with a son who enjoys good health but has already faced the surgeon's scalpel at an age too young for his memory to recall exactly why it is he has that scar on his back or how his kidneys lack the full capacity others take for granted. How will he know when he comes of age what this means for him, his medical records passed down from his elders like an oral history told around a campfire after a hunt for mastodons? Here I stand, just one man among millions, with a family lost in this maze, with a wife who bravely faces cancer number four after 32 years, who alone carries the burden of coordinating care among the dozens and dozens of providers who focus on that particular part of her they understand, who alone carries the records from place to place, from year to year, from diagnosis to diagnosis, trying to keep it all straight so that at the very least, her doctors do no harm. Here I stand, one of the lucky ones, a man with coverage, with knowledge, with friends, who stands helpless to make the system work for those who are the world to him. Here I stand, speaking to my heroes, who possess amazing superpowers to bend maze corners into straight corridors and to transform the flow from a trickle to a torrent. I don't presume to know what drives you, what compels you to forego another snooze button's worth of sleep, to return to the battle, to do the heavy lifting, to add another line of code, to write another line of policy, to create another decision support rule, to make one more connection, to solve one more problem, to make it flow. But if you need a story to motivate you, to steal your resolve to press on, mine is here and free for the taking. Better still, Forget my story and tell your own. Shout it from the rooftops or whisper it only to yourself. But keep that image sharply focused in your mind to give you the motivation to do the work so we all can be one among the millions who survive, know who thrive, who sail.